Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're in the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Tallinn, Estonia, the historic center. And today what we have for you is actually an itinerary for visiting the Baltics, i.e. the Baltics are Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, because I know a lot of people sometimes have trouble with the direction on there, so we'll help you out. And we're starting at the top here in Estonia in Tallinn. And, our, and on our tour what we're going to do is we're going to hit basically the capitals of each of the countries because, you know, Vilnius in, in Lithuania, Riga in, in Latvia, and Tallinn here in Estonia they are the best cities to visit as a tourist they have the most sites the most museums most infrastructure and the be most beautiful buildings of, of all of them so that's why it's kind of focused on that but don't let that kind of limit you in terms of the places you go in your Baltic itinerary because there's a lot of cool side trips you can go see in Lithuania you can hit the hill of crosses here in, in Estonia you can go to you know you can go to Hoops, uh, Hapsalu and you can go over to the islands and go to Parnu and stuff like that so don't let this itinerary limit you because there are some other cool stuff. Now, we are here starting our trip here in Tallinn. Why? Because this is probably a really easy place to visit. It's got a good airport, but more importantly, you have a lot of people that take the ferry over from Helsinki. There's like literally almost hourly ferries with multiple lines coming over here. It's a two hour ferry ride, so it's very quick, very easy to do, very affordable to come over. So you can come over that way. There's overnight ferries from Stockholm as well. You can take the bus in from St. Petersburg. There's a lot of options to get to start here. Anyway, so we're here in town. So what are you going to do when you come to Tallinn? Now Tallinn itself, you want to focus in the historic center, the UNESCO World Heritage Site Center. And there's kind of two parts, okay? You have one, you have the, the Tumpia Hill. I know I'm saying it wrong because Estonian's like near impossible. <laughs> but on Tumpia Hill up the way, you have uh, the Alexander Novetsky Cathedral, that's the Russian Orthodox Church here, which is beautiful to go inside. Uh, you got the Tumpio Castle that's up there, that's where the government is, so you don't really do much there. Nothing much happens there, like in most government buildings, but it's cool to look at. And you have that up there, and that's more of a kind of like a regal, I don't know, like fancier version of the city. What I love more is coming down here to the lower part of the city, the lower town, and you have the Town Hall Square here. The Town Hall is beautiful. This is one of the prettiest squares in Europe and you're going to check out here and I use this as kind of like my base to start off because you can shoot out out down these different roads you have all kinds of beautiful architecture historic buildings throughout the city and you can go to a lot of really cool churches I like St. Olaf's which was at one time apparently the tallest building in the world you can go check that out and yes go up the tower there and you can go and walk around and what's cool is there's a lot of museums here as well like smaller museums you got the Estonian History Museum the Tallinn City Museum there's an occupation museum you can check out um, here as well so there's all these nice little things to do but for me it's just walking around the city and going along the walls and stuff like that you'll see the city walls and you'll see where there's you know the stalls there where they're selling the souvenirs and things like that which is totally cheesy but it's actually a fun thing to do because Tallinn is probably the most touristy of all the cities you will see in the Baltics it is also the most expensive city of all the Baltics and one thing I would say is if you're gonna come here try to avoid the weekends because a lot of Finns come on the weekends and really fill up the place and the prices go sky high okay so do be careful with that now I think that's all I'm going to say about Tallinn for now. It is a great city. If you're only going to come to one in the Baltics, uh, though I lived in Lithuania for three and a half years, I will say Tallinn is the best one out there. So that's our first stop on our trip. Now, let's go hit on a bus, head on a bus, because yes, you're going to take a bus, a four and a half hour bus ride down to Riga. So now we've gone from Tallinn, we're down here in Riga at the Freedom Monument. And Riga's a really good party city, I'm not going to lie to you. You have people from all over Europe that come here for the good prices and fun times, and you should do that when you are here too. Tons of bars, tons of restaurants, tons of clubs and nightlife. But what's really cool is walking around the old town. It's UNESCO World Heritage Site as well. But for that, I mean, you have amazing Art Nouveau buildings throughout the old town and historic buildings like the Black Hills building. You can go see the Black Cat. You can see the Three Brothers. There's all kinds of cool architecture to take in. But for me, my favorite site, my favorite thing to do when I come to Riga is to go see the Occupation of Laffy Museum, which is right next to Blackheads. This shows you the occupation, the Nazi occupation and the Soviet occupation. And you really get a good feel for it. And the city has tons of little museums. Also, there's a nice park you can ride boats in in the summertime, of course. Of course, but Riga does really make it a great place to stop on and get your ice cream and take it all in. This is a fantastic place. So, when you are here, you can get around very easily just walking in the historic center. That's great. 
We can take trams out to different places as well. But I will say is like watch out with the taxis. I would call taxis before you come, before you get them. It's easier that way. Um, there's tons of really good apartments here too. So you can do hotels or apartments. It is a really fun place. There's a nice ethnographic museum right out of town. You have all kinds of things to do. But for me, it just wander that city center, take in the cool architecture and have a blast partying here at a good price. So from here, we're gonna head down to Lithuania. Bye from Riga. And now we're here in Vilnius, Lithuania, the capital of Lithuania, our last stop on our Baltic itinerary. And Vilnius, the main thing you want to see is here in the heart of the Old Town, UNESCO World Heritage Site, plenty of amazing churches like St. Anne's, the cathedral behind me, and here at Cathedral Square, there's all kinds of cool stuff to see. You've got the Grand, well, behind the, the cathedral, you have the Grand Duke Palace, which they rebuilt, which has a good history of Lithuania. You've got Gedimidis Hill, you can go up, and there's a little, you know, tower left over from the old castle here, and you get great views of the city. And the thing is, here in Vilnius, you have a lot of really good restaurants and bars at an affordable price. For me, of the three Baltic stops we have, this is the cheapest place to go for hotels, eating, and all kinds of stuff. And what's cool is, the places you go, there's some day trips you can do. But for me, if you're gonna do a day trip on this Baltic itinerary, you're gonna do it from here in Vilnius and you're gonna to go to Turkai. Because at Turkai, you have a castle you can go see, which is cool to check out. It's got a few expositions in it, not a lot of stuff, but it's a beautiful castle. But what's nice there is you can go in the lakes, you can swim there, you can sail there, you can get a paddle boat if you want, or you can you know, do all kinds of fun outdoor stuff there, which is really cool. And it's only about 30 minutes on a bus or train from here in Vilnius, so that's really cool. And the thing is, there's museums around Vilnius you can check out, there's different parts of town. But for me, it's taking in the beautiful churches around town that really are really cool and you'll see these beautiful churches all over the place but uh that's just kind of my little baltic tour so if you got like 10 days you can hit Tallinn, Riga and here in Vilnius very easily busing between them all about four and a half hours between Tallinn and Riga about the same from Riga to here in Vilnius very easy to do if you have any other questions about the Baltics we've got what you should know before you go to all these countries shocks love and hates all kinds of stuff all at our website at waltersworld.com Anyway, I'll say bye from Vilnius and have a great time in the Baltics. Bye.